Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for all to new. And this time I'm going to show you a few projects uh, featuring the new mix and match mariposa dye. And it's a favorite dye. I love butterflies and having the option of cutting in of different types of papers and playing around with them gives you, I'm going to say, a quite a huge amount of uh, opportunities. So what I'm going to create is a layout for my family album. And this album is from Citrus Twist Kids. And I have this picture of one of my goddaughters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own pattern paper for, uh, what I'm going to use to cut the butterflies with. So what I'm going to use for this is a combination of uh, some of the watercolor uh, refill um, bottles and the new metallic palette. So I'm going to use the colors that I'm going to use are purple wine, turquoise, misty mountains and lagoon. So I'm starting with um, a little bit of purple wine and I'm using the paper that I'm using to add or to create um, the pattern paper is actually mixed media paper. It's from Strathmore and you're gonna see that all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some water and then literally just gonna add some of the liquid watercolor and also a little bit of the shimmering of the metallic watercolor and I'm gonna mix them. I'm gonna try to get the colors from the uh, metallic palette that kind of match the same color of the purple wine and you're gonna see that it's gonna look messy but why i'm adding lots of waters because i'm gonna kind of lift out the paper and let the paints mix nicely and one of the reasons that i'm adding the metallic paint first of all it's gonna give me different tones of in this case it's gonna be like a pinkish purplish tone that i'm gonna go for but at the same time it's gonna give me that shine and the shimmer that i'm looking for and it's gonna be a very simple layout but i think having the different tones of the butterflies and the delicacy or the in um yeah the delicate design that they have in the die cut is gonna make this uh butterfly stand out so you're gonna see like i said remember i just spray water on my paper then i'm adding the pigment in this case the watercolor and the metallic watercolor and then i'm just gonna lift the paper and move it around so that the colors mix together and I'm going to do that with purple wine and I'm going to clean my palette and I'm going to come in with turquoise. And one of the reasons that I mix and I'm going to put them in the same sheet is because I want to hit the purple in the middle. So I'm going to kind of create a soft um, rainbow tone with all of this. And uh, so I'm trying to get the colors close together so that when they combine, they're going to give me the colors of a uh, rainbow. Not all the colors, but a nice um, change in gradation. So again, I'm just repeating the same procedure. You're going to see that I'm using turquoise. I'm adding a little bit of water. I spray the paper with water. I'm adding the pigment. I'm also bringing some of the metallic colors that match this tone. I'm going to add a little bit of the white uh, metallic um, watercolor just because I want to give that shine. And you're going to see that when I get to the center, of the page right at the edge of the pink i actually spray water and i'm going to move the paint a little bit or the blue in this case the turquoise that i'm adding just so that they mix together and then i'm going to again i'm going to lift up the paper and kind of swish it around and then you're going to see how the colors are going to bleed into each other and create a soft um I'm going to say change or fusion of the two colors without me forcing it. So that's pretty much how I created my paper. I'm going to show you also how I create uh, the second piece of paper. This is going to give me the blue, the pinks, and a little bit of the purple that I'm looking for. This second sheet, I'm using the same paper. Again, like I said, this is mixed media paper from Strathmore. Um, I'm explaining some water. I'm going to use Misty Mountain and Lagoon for this. And it's going to give me the greens, the teals. And to get to the yellow, I'm going to see at the end, I'm going to show you. And again, I'm following the same technique. I'm adding some water to the paper. You're going to see that I add some of the pigment, some of the liquid watercolor in this case. And then I'm just going to add some of, um, of the metallic uh, watercolor just to give me the shine. And I'm literally going to lift the paper and swish it around so that the paint naturally moves on the paper. Once I'm happy with what it looks like, and you're going to see that it took not, I'm going to say it took very little time to get this uh, done, just because it's a simple application of watercolor. I'm just applying watercolor without a design in mind. And once I have it to, like I said, I'm pretty going to, I'm going to make sure that I fill the entire page. I'm not going to use the entire piece of paper, but I don't mind having some extra paper to cut butterflies after. So you're going to see that you're going to, um, that I have the greens, I have the blues, I have the teals, I have the pinks and the purples. So to bring in the yellow, I'm actually gonna bring a little bit of gold. And this is 
the antique gold um, metallic spray from Altenew and I'm just gonna splatter it all over the paper the paper is still damp so the the ink when it hits the paper is gonna start spreading and that actually helped me with the pink it kind of gave me some tones of orange and when it hit the bottom of this paper that I'm holding in my hand right now when it hit the part at the bottom when I have the misty mountain because I've diluted it quite a bit it's gonna take the tone of yellow and gonna give me that yellow that I'm looking for so I let I set it aside to dry and outside of the camera I went ahead and cut the butterflies I cut I'm gonna say two rows of um, adjacent to each other so that I can layer them together they kind of have the same colors and I just use the dye that is uh, has all the little um, detailed inside the butterfly I don't want the full one I just want the detailed one and you're gonna see that I also cut this piece of paper comes from the reflection skit I love the fact that it's black and white and has a stripe it's just gonna make everything stand out and all I'm gonna do right now is I want to create two columns of butterflies at the edges of the paper so you're gonna see that I'm just gonna start playing with the idea that I have I place the picture nothing's glued I'm just gonna play with the idea to make sure that it matches what I have in my mind at the moment so once I have that I'm actually gonna use a combination of the script word number three the die to cut the word sweet sweet sorry and also I think it's called um, the fine print alpha to word the world to cut sorry the world girl and I cut them from a metallic black paper craft paper so you're gonna see that I'm also gonna bring my mini blossom and just a mini blossom a die cutting machine and just cut the words and I'm also gonna cut a butterfly out of vellum but for the vellum butterfly I'm gonna cut the matching pieces so the full image and also the one that has all the little cuts inside the butterflies and then I also make sure that I cut two uh, of the sweet work of the uh, for the title work sorry I cut two of each so I'm gonna layer them together they're just gonna give me a little bit of a lift and I don't want much I want the butterflies to be the ones that stand out but I don't want it to be completely flat so I have two of them I glue them together and then all I'm gonna do is glue them onto the paper once I have that in place you're gonna see that I'm gonna start gluing the butterflies and pretty much the the way that I have them is the way they're gonna stay all I'm gonna do is kind of move them a little bit I'm gonna make sure that some of the butterflies go into the little uh, space that the world girl is creating I'm just gonna play with the butterflies but they're gonna stay in the formation that they are at the moment I just move a little bit rotate them a little bit but that's the way they're gonna sit and I'm gonna make sure that in some of the butterflies you're gonna see that I just glue the center of it because I want the wings to move but there's other butterflies that I make sure that I add glue to the bottom butterfly so that it stays still uh stuck to the paper and only the top butterfly i can lift the wings so that's going to create some movement it's going to create a little bit of lift it's going to create some playfulness on the page and because my goddaughter is only it's going to be one year old in january i thought it'd be something really fun and very to her age she's starting she's starting to stand up and soon she'll be walking so i just wanted something uh she's very sweet even though i don't see her like physically they live in ecuador i live in canada i see them every day we chat every day online so i'm able to see how they're progressing and how they're growing so you're gonna see right now for the picture i'm also i added a piece of vellum behind i just want that soft separation and i'm gonna set it in place and again i'm gonna go ahead and kind of create the formation that i had already set using the glue and gluing the two butterflies together and then gluing them in a column on the right hand side of the layer and again some of the butterflies are gonna have just some of the glue in the middle or in the center of the bottom um, butterfly or the bottom die cut that's going to touch the paper while other ones are going to have uh, pretty, I'm going to glue pretty much all the area of the butterfly to the paper so that the bottom butterfly is sits flat on the page and only the wings of the top butterfly are folded up and um, that's pretty much it you're going to see that again like I said I'm going to take it off camera and just finish gluing everything in place and then I actually have this little label from one of my uh, in my stash so that's where I'm going to add my lines with journal and once I have that in place I'm actually going to add it at the bottom of the page below the picture and then to just finish this layout I am actually going to add a few stickers I actually have one that has rainbow colors and the colors match the ones that I have in the back so I'm just going to add a few I left a space in between the butterflies to add some details there I'm gonna add another one on top of the picture one behind underneath the title sorry and once I have all that in place I'm gonna bring quite a few of enamel dots I'm gonna bring the Altenew the light blue I think it's called seashore I'm gonna bring red cosmos I'm gonna bring a little bit of the green meadows these are all Altenew uh, enamel dots and also a few from my stash just because I needed a few more and also to give it a little bit of a uh, 
colors that I couldn't find in the Altenew uh, enamel dots. And that's about it. I'm going to make sure that when I add the enamel dots, they are at least one next to each of the butterflies. And again, I'm going to move them. They're not going to be just on the one edge. On the one edge. They're going to zigzag through the butterflies. And they're just going to help bring the color together and also add to the movement. Once I have that in place, that's about it. It was super simple to put this together. The only thing that took a while was to have the, literally, the paper try and uh, i hope you try it as always if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me i would love to give you a hand uh remember to check the Maripo mariposa um sorry it's the mixing match mariposa dye and a uh, super fun dye one that you want to have in your stash there's a lot that you can do with it and create like i said the color combinations and the e even the material combination is infinite so it's a good one to have in your stash thank you so much for joining me <music>